Hi guys, this is Matt Barbie. I'm going to talk you through an SEO plugin for WordPress that I've been using recently. Um, and I have to say it's probably one of the best WordPress plugins that I've used for not just SEO purposes, but um, for kind of ease of use within blogs in particular, um, just as well as business websites and, and, and other sites. It's got a bag of different features and it is a premium plugin. It's uh, the premium SEO pack from the AA team. Um, it costs $37, I believe. And for that, it has, I think, about 12, 16 modules. Yeah, 16 modules in total and 16 different features. It's modular based, so you can kind of disable the different features if you don't want to have kind of too much um, bloated out within your WordPress site. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of talk you through each of the different features because from an SEO point of view in particular, there's some really good stuff in. And here's kind of the dashboard on, on my test server that you can kind of see with all the features enabled. So this is all of the different modules. And this is the exact layout that you would see on your site. Um, one, one thing also that's worth noting is that you can also import all of Yoast's WordPress SEO settings into the premium SEO pack. So what I actually had was I had Yoast WordPress SEO pack um, plugin before this and really easily transitioned over to the premium SEO pack with very little fuss at all, completely changed um, and, and migrated over all the existing settings that I had and everything remained the same until I went in and started changing things. So the first section that I'm going to talk to you about is probably one of the one of the top features of the plugin to be honest it's the mass optimization tool um, now what this allows you to do don't worry too much about all these different test pages on on the site <clears throat> these are the different posts on the website and one really awesome feature of the plugin is that it auto detects all of your like focus keywords so like what you have in the Yoast SEO plugin where you plug in your keyword and it kind of gives you that um, kind of SEO score that you can get. Um, what you actually get with the mass optimization tool brings it all in automatically and will auto kind of detect a score for you. What you can also do is while you're in here really quickly and easily click quick edit edit any of the meta titles, the canonical, if you want to set this to no index, the descriptions, keywords, if you are going to use keywords, not sure why you would. Um, and kind of all SEO aside, this is actually just a really handy interface. Now, alongside this, which is a really quite a great feature, to be honest, is for each URL, you can run a quick SEO report. Um, so what it will do is, give you a quick overview of some of the different stats, the keyword density, uh, images, have you got your keyword within this paragraph, blah, blah, blah. And you can kind of go through that and you can change the focus keyword as well um, if, if you really want to. But it gives you the option to kind of mass optimize all of these uh, posts at once or just a select few based around and what this will actually do is it will it will also populate your metadata for you based around some of the different taxonomies that you've set up in the settings and also bearing in mind trying to plug in your keyword into there really quickly and easily so that you can kind of if you are kind of stripped for time or you've got a lot of content to go through you can make sure that you kind of all of your posts are optimized to the best possible standard so alongside the mass optimization tool uh, and one tool that is i suppose a, a kind of almost become a necessity now amongst bloggers in particular is google authorship now a lot of people if you're not very code savvy or you might just have quite an inflexible wordpress theme people can find it quite tough to get this set up and I won't babble on about the importance of Google authorship so too much but one thing I will say is that it's 
clearly going to be part of Google's ranking factors over the coming years, months, potentially weeks, the way that the search landscape changes. So it's important that you are linking any of the posts to your Google Plus account. And what the plugin does is gives you a really simple, easy to use interface, plug in your profile URL. Here's where you put it in the code, make it visible. These are the different pages and post types that you want this to appear on, who exactly you want to appear. It, really simple to do do you want it in the feeds etc etc now takes you two minutes to get this all set up hit go and there you are you've got google authorship completely set up across the site now alongside this tool is um is another one i'm going to go through kind of some of my kind of favorite tools to begin with, or module, should I say, within the tool. I mean, looking at the whole SEO pack, um, you may kind of, I, I suppose one of the things that I found when talking to other people about suppose, premium SEO plugins in particular, there is number one, a distinct lack of them. Um, and number two, I think Yoast has really kind of dominated the scene and is a free alternative that most people look at. but. I suppose Yoast only really does so much. I think they do things like the mass optimization side of things to a certain degree, um, add in schema data, which this plugin also does. Um, they'll do some kind of quick tracking. Also, I suppose you can set up the, the site maps again, all character in here. But one of the big things that I found with the premium SEO pack is that you've got so many like a lot of the uh, the modules here could be standalone plugins themselves um and and this tool the 404 monitor is a really handy tool actually and this is something that i usually do manually um via tracking through google analytics what it does is it will track when anyone ever comes through to a 404 page on your site so if they they may have just accidentally typed in the old url um the wrong url or what they might have done is come through to a URL that now is a broken link for some reason. This 404 monitor module will map out and track all of these um, occurrences, tell you how many hits, if you've got maybe one off hit. So you can see here, test 222, it's probably just an accidental typo. If you start to see a few hits coming up, then what you can do is say, right, okay, we're getting 404s coming through to this URL. Let's add an automatic URL redirect. Type in your redirect there, done. And it will set that up. No need to go to your HT access file. No need for any code knowledge. You've just straight away done that. So really great tool. Now, another one, which is the Google Analytics plugin, which is really really good actually um i mean there's i actually um use on some other websites a, an individual google analytics plugin which is fairly bloated mainly just out of laziness to be honest and not putting in the tracking code myself also have a very quick dashboard but this is actually one of the only plugins i've seen that i could genuinely use to gain good insight from my google analytics all in one place um, you can quickly see in a nice custom graph all the different things that you want to have a little look at drill down on a few other things of course you're going to still go into analytics to to really drill deeper into things but what this does and you'll probably be able to see here it's a nice interface quickly have a look and see if there's been anything that you need to flag up and then have a little deeper look into but having this here is actually a really handy plugin and it's really easy just to quickly link up to your analytics fuss free um, and, and simple to use now another module which i think a lot of you will find particularly useful is the cert tracking so what you can do in here is track keyword rankings, not just for your own URL, but for any URL. So Smashing Magazine we've got here, um, tracking all of their uh, keywords along with uh, Apple's website, just, just for kind of test purposes. But what you can put here is all of your keywords uh, that you want to take keep track of, 
and you've just negated the need completely for a paid SERP tracking tool. I mean, I I use um, and I have used lots of different SERP tracking tools. This is really quick, easy to view data, shows you uh, some improvements over time as well, any drops that you need to flag up. So for me, this is a this is a really, really good tool and I could see where a lot of people would find this useful for getting quick search, um, search result page rankings for any of the keywords that you're trying to target. So really good feature again. Another quick kind of insight that you can get is page speed, but you can actually do this um, on individual pages all from this quick kind of dashboard. So <clears throat> you can just go through into the individual page, click test page speed, it'll give you a quick score. You can then have a look and view the, the actual page speed report, which it will kind of generate up in the same way that you would do um, with Google itself and give you a breakdown of all the different areas where the page may be a bit bloated, may not. You can also do mass page speed test checks, which is really handy. So just wait for this to load quickly. So that's loaded now. And um, what you can see in the report is kind of, you've got avoid landing page, redirects, reduce server response time, all put together kind of nicely uh, within this specific report, It'll give you a kind of breakdown of the resources of each page so that you can kind of break this down and see where you can improve. And it's particularly useful when it's kind of page by page, especially if you've got a lot of rich content uh, showing up on some of your pages as opposed to the others. Um, so again, a really handy way of being able to go in, drill down and find where there might be a bit of lag and you can match that up against some of your other um, Google Analytics data. See so if you haven't drop off some certain pages, is this due to maybe a laggy page and so on. So that's particularly handy. So the, the next, type, uh, next module, should I say, that I'm going to go into is the title and meta format, uh, which is just in the on-page optimization tab. You're probably starting to see the kind of the scale of this plugin. Um, it's pretty huge, so you really do kind of get your money's worth with it. Um, this is, again, another quick mass optimization way that is probably kind of one of the cornerstones of the plugin um, and what you would expect really of any SEO style plugin, but it has some extra really, really nice features. So you've got all of these uh, format tags that you can instantly put into your page titles, uh, all the post titles and the different kind of taxonomies of all your different titles across the site, um, which is great. You've got the same for your meta description. So if you go back to the format tags list, you can be adding in like the author's name, a short description from the post excerpt into your meta description. Um, also putting through things like focus keyword to make sure that's plugging up maybe in the post title or in the meta description if you wanted to. So again, really handy. Um, you can sort out all of your robots or text and uh, whether you're having no index things, but I would imagine that will all be staying the same for most of you. Social metadata, this is a great feature. Um, you'll be able to add in all of your open graph data. So when you're sharing it across various different social media sites, including Facebook, it's all gonna format correctly with all the right kind of schema data as well, which is plugged in. And one feature which I love is the Twitter cards feature, which is a lot easier to use than most plugins. Um, I mean, before using this, I kind of hard coded it all into my theme um, just because I was getting so frustrated with some of the plugins I was using. Um, but this is particularly useful um, if you're going through and you want to specify quickly the type of card that you want to have put in so you can change it to display a summary card with a large image, small image, photo card, gallery card, player card, product card. Fantastic. This is um, add in your kind of your default image if nothing's appearing, who the content creator Twitter handle is, etc. And, and and there's a ton of features here. 
um, where you can link up to your apps, etc. So really, really useful. Um, and you can do this different ones from the home page sections to um, to your post sections, etc. So a really comprehensive um, section of the plugin. This module in particular works very well, and I have tested all the Twitter card stuff to make sure that they work and they, they work a treat, which is which is great. Next up, sitemap. So fairly straightforward, not going to go into it too much. Auto generates all of your sitemaps for you um, in a similar way to the likes of Yoast SEO plugin does. Um, but you can also quickly update all of the priorities and the changes in the frequencies. It's got video and image sitemap capabilities, really simple to do, and it'll auto ping out um, through to Webmaster Tools, etc. So, <clears throat> and also Bing Webmaster Tools here, so you can see you've got sitemap images, videos, and your your standard um, your standard stuff there as well. The SEO slug optimizer. So this will quickly remove any stop words or any specific words that you don't want to have in your URL, and you want it to be nice and keyword rich, um, which is great. Uh, a great quick feature that you can kind of implement. SEO friendly images. This is such a godsend, really. Um, what this will do is automatically update any of the image alt tags and the image titles where you can make sure that you're plugging in your focus keywords within there um, so that you don't need to be messing around with changing all the alt tags to try and get your keywords in there and, and building relevance um, to the image. So that's all done for you, which is again, great. This local SEO section, which is really quite handy, adds all of your location data. So if you have a, a business website that you're running through WordPress, you can add in your full NAP address format and that will plug it through to a KML sitemap, um, which can then be plugged through to Webmaster Tools. So again, really, really good. Quickly make local sitemap um, that you can put in there. Now I'm going to move into some of the features which we've covered a lot of the, the main features, but some slightly different features that you probably wouldn't expect from a from a plugin like this. One feature that's pretty damn good actually is this backlink builder. What it actually does is it allows you to auto submit your site to a ton of directories. But not just any directories, you can specify which ones. So auto plugged into the plugin itself, there are 779 different directories that you can plug in. So just go through some of the different pages. They've got a ton of different directories, some of these you're not going to want to use, of course. But go through them, have a little look. It will save you going through, filling in all your details. You can auto fill um, the this data into your your bookmark bar so that will autofill fields add in all of this information all you need to do is submit to this website or uh, submit to this one submit to this one submit to this one or bulk submit to to a load of them so that's that's a pretty good feature to be fair um, and i mean something like this if you're not looking to submit to directories yourself, you might be paying freelancers to do that, or you might be using a quick tool that does it. That's probably going to cost you more than than the whole uh, plugin here is. So, again, a, a pretty cool feature. This feature, social stats, is one that I really love, um, especially for some of my blogs, in particular my food blog, which I really um, have enjoyed using this SEO uh, plugin for to quickly give me an overview of all of my different pages. Uh, let me just make sure I click that. Yeah. So give me a quick overview of all my different pages. And of course, because this is a test site, we're not going to have anything, but it'll give me a breakdown of all the Facebook shares, the Pinterest pins, the retweets, tweets, uh, the plus ones, stumble upon views, anything on Dig and LinkedIn as well quick breakdown across all of the posts 
this this is an amazing content analysis tool. Usually, I would plug this into kind of tools, whether that's Moz that I'll use it through, whether it's Social Crawlytics that I'll plug the domain through, Topsy, and probably go through something like uh, the SEO tools plugin for Excel. And have to go through a load of different tools to try and get all these different social networks. When actually I don't even need to leave WordPress, it's all here for me to quickly have an overview of all the different posts, see what's working well, what isn't, what social networks is what type of content performing correctly or incorrectly on. It gives me a very valuable analysis tool there. The link builder module, not what you think it is. You're not just going to start building links to your site and uh, cashing in on some quick rankings. It's not that good um, but I, I, I doubt you're going to ever find a tool that's going to be able to do that from within WordPress and actually generate good stuff um, so what this does now I haven't used this feature much um, but I can definitely see the value in it what you can do here is it allows you and to be honest it allows you to do internal and external I don't know where you would really use external but um, this is going to be mainly for your internal linking. If you plug in one of your uh, URLs, so let's just say I've written a tutorial. Um, the, let's talk about this tutorial. And I've got uh, kind of matthewbarbie.com forward slash premium SEO pack. And I want a link to come from each of my different posts that I do, just referring back to that with maybe the Anchor Text Premium SEO pack so that it appears on all of my pages. Instead of going through all my posts and doing that internal linking, I can quickly add this link in here, publish it, and then what that will do is on every single one of my posts, it will add in this internal link across my site. So really good for link sculpting and making sure that all your internal linking is as optimized as possible. A really good feature and something that I haven't actually seen um, in a standalone plugin before. I might be uh, kind of wrong there, but I, I haven't personally seen it yet. And here's the, uh, the the 301 redirect. So again, pretty straightforward. Probably see what it is. Quickly create 301 link redirects. No need for an extra plugin. No need to get your hands dirty in the uh, HT access file. Just type in the URL where you want it redirected to, update, and it's done. Really quick, pain-free and easy, um, which is particularly nice. And then moving on to kind of the last section here, you've got the files editor, which is just your robots.txt file. So you can quickly add in and change anything in the robots.txt. Also, you can live edit the HD access file without having to go into the, um, the in through FTP and go through something like FileZilla and start messing around with everything there. You can do it straight away here, nice and easy. W3C validator, um, again, pretty simple. It will uh, verify if a page is W3C valid, if it abides by all their um, their rules. You can do another report which will give you a nice breakdown um, to show all the markup on your page and then you can have a look at what the errors quickly go in and correct those. Again, great. This is a nice tool especially from um, where, where I found um, there to be issues in certain themes for example, on the Genesis framework, if you've got a WordPress site running there, it's not that easy if you're not very familiar with the Genesis framework to just go and plug some line of code into your into the head section of your site. Believe me, I, I had a lot of issues there. Um, just wanting to kind of plug in, for example, um, a Webmaster Tools meta tag validation. Thought quickly pop that in the head section. No, it wasn't that easy. I actually had to install a plugin in the end because I didn't want to go through all the code. Um, so what this does is you're able to quickly add in all of the code here into either your WP footer or the head section, nice and easy, and it will work on all of your different themes and frameworks without hassle. 
smush it if you um, if you may use this plugin standalone. I know I've done that before until I use this plugin, um, but compresses all of your images, reduce down page load time, so you can it will just bring through your whole media library, and you can actually do a mass smush it. So you just click there, all of your um, images will be compressed, space will be saved on your server, load times improved, and and it's. It's just a great tool to do. Alternatively, you can do them individually as well. So really, really awesome, quick tool to use. Um, and then finally, we've got the Facebook Planner, which um, for many blog owners in particular is going to be music to your ears. Um, because what the Facebook Planner does, oh, let me just make sure I click that correctly. Um, what the Facebook Planner does is allows you to schedule in posts on Facebook. So if I go into the Facebook Planner settings, <clears throat> you can link up your Facebook page. So we've got here just some test pages in there. Uh, set up a load of different settings, so obviously just verifying all of this nice and simple, just like you would do with any uh, Facebook um, app gives you nice clear instructions so for example you click help here and it will give you a nice overview step by step how to set everything up and they've got these help sections for every single module there so that's really handy um, what you can do is set up custom image sizes to go into your Facebook posts um, set up an email notification for when when anything goes out uh, you can set up filtered groups that you want to be available for publishing and and also you can publish um, specific fields on Facebook but when you actually go into the individual posts on uh, WordPress you'll have an extra section um, where you can schedule in a post quickly go through and say okay this is what I want the text to be add it through and it will appear directly within your uh, Facebook planner here so when you've scheduled posts in you'll have different rows Everything that's going out, it will, you can repeat that, post it to specific people, um, reschedule out, and it just makes everything really quick, easy, and automated. Um, so, really, quite quite an awesome tool, especially for bloggers, which is great. And um, obviously, you've got like backup and things like that. I just want to go in and show you here in the modules manager. You can deactivate any of these plugins that you don't want to use. So if you think, well, I don't really need the W3C validator, instead of just having that extra space being taken up on your server, deactivate it, and it's it's going to kind of stop that being so bloated. So overall, just to kind of summarize what we've got here, we go back to the dashboard. From a plugin that's $37, one-off fee, you've got... Google Analytics, you've got an instant directory submitter, internal link sculpting, 301 redirects that are easy to set up, social stats live across all your different URLs, W3C validator, Facebook planner, quick files editor, Google authorship and rel publisher uh, setup, page speed, image compressor sitemap, um, keyword rankings, SEO friendly image kind of taxonomies, mass optimizations, the local SEO stuff, which is particularly good for localized sitemaps, the metadata auto formatters, and also um, the 404 monitor. Along with some kind of general stats and a really nice interface, this, this is a pretty awesome tool to use. So that's the premium SEO pack from the AA team. Um, check it out, there'll be links. Uh, below the video, so make sure you go and test it out yourself. Thanks guys.